here, Dana here, and welcome to my blog. And I want to thank all those who are praying for my son-in-law Joe. Uh, he's still in the hospital in ICU, being monitored. The uh, kind of up and down on different um, situations this week. They wanted to give him a pacemaker and they decided not to and just in the last day or two he's wound up with a blood clot in his lungs so he is now on um, a real strong not super strong but a medium strength um, blood thinner and he's been put on a um, a vest. Um, I guess it's supposed to uh, monitor monitor his heart and um, keep it. Um, I guess it's the the step before putting in a uh, um, pacemaker. So. Okay, a life vest. Okay. So he's out of ICU as of right now? No, he's in ICU for observation. He's still in ICU. Okay. They put him in there to keep an eye on him. Very good. So right now, what's going on with the clot? They're just giving him the blood thinners? Right. Very good. Through an IV. Okay, through the stent. Through an IV. Okay. So they're taking the stent out? They've already taken that out. Okay, so the stent is out. The stent was out and then all these problems cropped up. Oh, okay. He's on an IV. He, he's got to be on an IV because that's the only way they administer heparin. Okay. Okay. So as of right now, he's stable. Stronger than Coumadin, stronger than Warfarin, but that's a step down from heparin. Okay. Heparin is what you get when you have clots. Lovenox is what you get to prevent them. Gotcha. All right, very good. Thank you. Yeah. So as you overheard that conversation, he is moving forward. And I believe the prayers are uh, definitely helping. So, so thank you again for the prayers. Keep them coming. The strength of the family and uh, speedy recovery for Joe. And there's not much more I can I can say on that other than thank you and God bless and keep the prayers coming.